right, YouTube, what is up? I got a special video for you guys today. As you can see, I have my shotgun right in front of me, and well, figure since duck season's over and we're getting ready to go into turkey season, I might want to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on my shotgun. If this is a video that you guys like um, and you want me to do more, I will do more reviews of my gear that I have for fishing, hunting, um, or just shooting in general. But I will get started on this. Um, this is my Remington 870. As you guys can see, it is empty. There is no ammo inside here. It's on safe. Perfectly fine. All right. <clears throat> so. Like I said, this is my, Reming my Remington 870 Super Express. I can shoot two and three quarter, three inch, and three and a half inch shells out of this. Um, when I duck hunt, I typically just do three inch with a four shot. Might do a little bit smaller shot every once in a while, but um, for turkey hunting, <clears throat> I do three and a half inch two shot i have to check my ammo but i i mean it's been a while since i've turkey hunted but i typically i think i do two shot i know i do three and a half so as you can see i added this sling <clears throat> since the last time that you saw it um when i was out duck hunting i didn't use this sling this much uh, i figured i had it i got in one of those hunting mystery boxes and yeah it fit perfectly and i think it's going to be a lot <clears throat> it's going to help me out a lot for turkey hunting just making it so that i don't have to carry it in my hands i can just throw it over my shoulder um kind of do a little bit of a breakdown for you guys starting from the front <clears throat> i have my choke this is just a typical duck choke and uh, yeah, just a typical duck choke and and I have my barrel. It's a pump action as you can see It's very clean. I always want to make sure that my guns are clean uh, You always want to make sure you take care of your guns and your equipment because You don't want to be that guy that goes out and all of your equipment has stopped working so Yeah, it's a it's a very good gun um, Like I said I have shot a lot of ducks with this thing, um, a lot. Uh, we didn't get as many ducks this year during duck season, but yeah. Uh, the year before this, I got a ton. I'm still waiting on my wood duck to be finished being mounted, um, but yeah. That's, that's what we're waiting on that. I didn't get a green head this year. That's the next duck that I'm going to get mounted. Um, I really do want to get one of those mounted. They are such beautiful ducks. Um, tell you a little bit of a story. Kind of go on a little bit of a story tangent for you guys. Uh, I took this gun out the last time that I went turkey hunting. And... It was me and another one of my buddies. We had gone out turkey hunting on this land. It was a giant open area, and we were sitting inside the blind together. We had our turkey decoys probably about 20, 30 yards away. And we're sitting there. We're hearing turkeys calling all morning. Nothing's coming in. We've seen a couple deer, but no turkeys have come in. I can, I can hear a gobbler. So, sitting there and sitting there, have an eagle land right, right next to the my uh, my gobbler decoy, my my tom, and thought that was kind of cool. And then all of a sudden, I look out into the fog, and you can just see this beautiful big Osceola turkey just strutting, and it's probably about a hundred yards away maybe a little bit more 
and it is coming in on a string straight for my my uh male decoy eagle takes off so that was kind of cool watching that fly away and then the 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 tom or i'm sorry the the gobbler comes in and you can see right behind him he's got a little jake behind him too and i thought it was really weird because this was a full-grown tom turkey with a jake i mean it had to have had i don't know the size of the uh, the size of the beard but um it, it was a good looking beard it's all the spurs all that fun stuff um i forgot to mention we had a lot of hens that came in that morning too <laughs> And we were just dying. It was probably about 11 o'clock. We were ready to go home. And so the turkey comes in, the two turkeys come in. And the way me and my buddy are positioned, I'm on the right side. He's on the left side. And there's a tree right in the middle because we were like 15, 16 and just brilliantly smart like that um so of course those of you that are already ahead of me in this story are gonna know what happens next so the turkey comes in from the right my decoy is right in front of me right over here the hen decoy is right over there male turkey comes in starts fighting with my decoy and I was the one that had the perfect shot at that uh, Tom. So I raise up my gun, and I'm ready to go, and my buddy next to me leans over and goes, hey, I wanna shoot one too. Let, let's do a, let's shoot uh, one together. You can have the big one. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll take the big one. You take the little one. Let, let's shoot. I don't have a shot, the tree's in the way. Great. All right. So <laughs> after the Tom is done beating up on my decoy, it starts making its way over to the hen. And this hen decoy is off to my left, probably another 20 yards over this way. So the little window in the blind is blocked by a tree sitting right here, right in between us. And we watch them, and he's like, I still don't have a shot, I still don't have a shot, I still don't have a shot. And finally, it's, it's over on this side, and he's like, I have a shot. So, and I'm like, I, I don't have a shot yet, so now we gotta wait even more for the decoys to, or I'm sorry, for the turkeys to get in range of our shot. So then, finally, I have an opportunity to shoot this turkey. What the problem is, is I'm leaned over on my buddy like this. He's leaned over too. We both look like a bunch of idiots as we're, as we're about to shoot. And obviously, I unfortunately missed the turkey decoy. Or I'm sorry, the Tom Gobbler because I wasn't a very good shot back then. Some of you might debate whether or not I'm a good shot now. Um, and I missed because I also tried to shoot for the head and, and it was, it was not, it was not a good shot on my part. So I'm lucky that the turkey did not get wounded. The Tom turkey took off and my buddy got his little Jake turkey. And he was so happy about that little turkey. Um, I think he cooked it up. I think we had like turkey breast at school for like the next week. <laughs> I think he smoked it. Um, it, but it was good turkey breast. I, I much prefer wild game over store-bought game. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a story time and kind of go over this gun. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video. I know it's not typically what I do like a fishing video, but it's been kind of horrible weather. It's been windy all week and I haven't been able to get on the water. So I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for watching these videos. 
if you would please subscribe if you're not give the video a like it really helps out so i just want to say thank you to each and every one of you and remember if you ain't wet you ain't hunting in florida see you guys